This is an all new M.2 enclosure from Dock Case with an on-screen display that yes, shows you the lifespan of the drive, the type of drive, and then the transfer rates that you're currently using. I wanna show you how to actually install an M.2 in one of these. So first we're gonna flip it over to the backside that is a heat sink on the back plate. I'm gonna find that little screw and just unscrew that guy. Promise the hardest part of this is trying to get these tiny screws back in place. So let's look at the back plate. Uh, first off, we do have a heat sink built into the back plate, as we said right here. And then we also have a thermal pad that is a non-stick thermal pad. And if you're curious what that is, that's actually a graphene layer. Now I currently do have a fire CUDA in here. It is a gen one fire CUDA, but let's get this out of here and show you what it's supposed to actually look like. This M.2 does handle pretty much everything from 2230 all the way up to 2280. But all we're gonna do is you see that tiny pin there and the large pins there, we're gonna line that up in these little slots. And when you push it in, you're gonna hear a slight little click and it'll be angled like this. Okay, now we're ready for the hard part. You push this down, I'm gonna line up one of those tiny little screws. Damn it, God damn it. I told you this is the hardest part. There we go. Third try is the charm. Now, since we're in here, I wanna point out one big thing. See this massive size capacitor? Well, that does two things. One, it regulates the data current flow so that you don't corrupt any data that's being transferred, whether it be power surges or anything like that. Let's be honest, tech messes up sometimes. So having some sort of extra layer of protection is a massive thing. However, it doesn't just do that. It also works as a reserve backup battery in case any of the devices you are transferring data from, dude, got it in first try on the back plate. But it works as a reserve battery. So when you are transferring data, let's say that your computer shuts off or you know maybe some sort of power surge happens. Things like that do happen with tech. This guy's gonna kick on and actually provide power to this to safely turn off the device so that you're not having to worry about any surge or loss of data or data corruption, anything like that. Now on that screen, which we gotta say, that's a beautiful little 90s vibe they got going on there. But on the display, like I said, you are gonna say what drive you have, the current available space of the drive, the lifespan of the drive, as well as your transfer rates. And if you look really close, it even will tell you the temperature. Now I'm gonna link this M.2 enclosure in the bottom left so you can check it out for yourself. But if you've been looking for a safe and secure way to store your data and not have to worry about data corruption, this might be what you're looking for. Links in the bottom left, but you might wanna hurry while it's still on those holiday sales.